Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm pleased to be joined by Mark Chalmers. Mark is both the CEO of Energy Fuels, but also widely regarded as uh, a resource and a, a person with a great deal of knowledge in the uranium and uh, vanadium industries in the U.S. And Mark, there's been a lot of attention to uranium production. Uranium prices have been depressed for a very long time, but there's been a lot of noise around Section 232 in the last few days. Can you talk to me about that and about your role in it? Yes, yes, Jeff. Um, yeah, the, um, there has been a lot of um, uh, uh, discussion about Section 232 in the uh, recent media uh, over uh, steel and aluminum um, with a review that was done by the Department of Commerce and, and, and uh, with the President. Uh, to look, they were looking at imposing tariffs um, uh, on uh, making sure that the, the aluminum steel industry would remain um, uh, strong in the United States and survive um, the current low prices. Now, with our case with the Section 232 for uranium, um, the United States is the largest consumer of uranium in the world, and yet we only uh, produce about 5% of our requirements. And with these current low prices, uh, if there isn't some uh, relief, and relief could be in the form of uh, higher uranium prices, just global world uranium prices, or some sort of action that helps um, um, keep the prices up in the United States because we don't think that it's in the nation's best interest both from the Department of Defense and from the nuclear generation capacity which, which uh, nuclear provides 20 percent of our electricity in the United States to only be producing 5 percent less than 5 percent of our requirements and uh, securing a, a majority of our uranium or large portion of it about 40 percent from Russia, Kazakhstan, and, and uh, Uzbekistan. So, so uh, our company joined UR Energy. Uh, the two of us jointly put in a petition uh, to the Department of Commerce. Um, it, uh, we, we haven't heard that they've initiated the process. We expect them to initiate the process, but we think it's in the United States' best interest to have a front end of nuclear fuel cycle of uranium mining uh, in this country, certainly above the four or five percent that it currently is. Now, with the steel situation, they've looked to impose tariffs. My understanding is you guys have suggested going a different direction, well, correct? Yeah, we, we looked at um, uh, a quota, a quota of up to 25 percent um, of uh, U.S. requirements. Uh, we also put in a, a provision for a buy American or preference of buy American uranium. Um, so, um, but I want to emphasize that um, uh, you know, it, the, the, the objective of the petition is to make sure that this front end of the nuclear fuel cycle survives. And, and we're very challenged right now. Um, but we also understand that um, a number of the steps in the nuclear fuel cycle, including the nuclear generation, is challenged as well, too. So, so we want an outcome that is going to allow us to survive, but also make sure that the nuclear industry in the United States stays healthy and robust going forward. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Mark. Thank you, Jeff. We'll see you again soon.